On this episode of Marry Me in NYC... Chinatown! My family does not approve of interracial dating at all. She wanted to do an arranged marriage. Mm -hmm. I've never married a woman who used to be married to a woman, now marrying a man. It wasn't that I was looking for anybody. I wasn't right. looking for a man or a woman. Super interesting! Trust me. I need a ring. Yeah. So where's my ring? I want you to propose to her on your wedding day. Well, I thought, why not get married here? Well, what do you that's think? Great. That's you perfect. Like it? I'm gonna do a surprise wedding for them. You got something planned? I'm not telling you. <laughs> Let's take their glasses and start you know, the ceremony. Wait a second. One thing. One more thing. I'm Gino Filippone and I'm a wedding planner in New York City. I sell intimacy in iconic New York locations. I'm the owner, part-time minister, planner, florist. I write the ceremonies, I book the hair and makeup. I'm the therapist. I coordinate over 200 weddings a year in New York City. I'm so busy, I had to hire a coordinator. Actually, I have two and they're identical twins. Let's face it, there's nothing more romantic than a wedding in New York City, and I'm the guy who can make it happen. Hello, girls. Hello, Gina. Okay, who do we have this week? Our first couple is Linda and Curtis. How okay. good. Yeah, and they seem like a really fun couple with big personalities, and they're also out of bowlers. Bowling, fun. I love bowling. Okay, let's see what we have. I actually met Curtis at Delaware State University when Ooh. I was picking up my brother and I actually proposed to him last year on his birthday at a restaurant. Wait a minute, she proposed to him? Are you kidding me? I love this. August 27th, 2009, 10. <laughs> she don't even know the date, y'all. <laughs> she don't even know the date. Oh, it was last gosh. year. What I love about Curtis is his sense of humor. You do have a sense of humor. Do I? And <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> he always Stop. thinks he's right, which he's not right all the time. I am, I am. One thing I love most about her is just, uh, I guess, her willingness to help others, help a family, help me, um, always being around. I actually want to get married in Brooklyn because I was born and raised in Brooklyn. Me, I'm from Brooklyn also, Flatbush, stand up. Um, but uh, if I had to get married anywhere, it'd have to be at a Knicks game, half court, half time. It's a little unrealistic, a little bit. You think? I know you guys probably can't do that because the season is over. I need something fun, outgoing. I don't want to say loud because that's a negative, negative aspect. Bam loud. But yeah, bam loud. Like your man, the chef, bam. I need something like that. I need people to be like, yo, I remember that because that it was, it was hot. Yeah, I need something like that. Oh my God, I love this couple. They do have big personalities, larger than life. Okay, give me their information so I can set something up. I cannot wait to meet them. We are here at Studio 54. No, we're not. We're in a bowling alley in New York. Usually I meet brides in cafes or they come by the office and it's very wedding. This couple, I was like, when can I meet you? And they're like, well, we're going bowling. I'm like, perfect, we're going to meet. I brought Marissa, I brought Sandy. We got our bowling gear. We are ready to make this happen. Linda and Curtis, here we come. Curtis and Linda! Hi! Hi Gino! Hi. We're bowling! This is like my favorite meet and greet. How are you? Good to meet you, cutie. How are you, man? Good to meet you. Sandy, Marissa, Marissa, Sandy. I already stopped. I picked up my shoes, size 15. I got colors. We're gonna be red. And you guys, these are for you. I wanna bowl with you two. I wanna get to know you. These two are amazing bowlers as well. Holy cow, let's do it. <laughs> God, I hope I have a strike. Who proposed here? I proposed to Curtis, actually. 
That is, you're a woman who is rare. And knows what she wants. And knows what she wants. We love brides like you. Picture me, propose it to him. I she proposed to him. I'm already juiced about this bride. For some reason, this guy, very handsome. This guy was the guy, you proposed to him. Yep, on his and birthday. Said, on his birthday, you said, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Where's the ring? Beautiful ring. She's got taste. Where's her ring? Where's my ring? Well, I said to her since she proposed to me, that she forego her ring. Because if I proposed to her, I wouldn't get one. Every female should have a ring. it's all about you, right? No, it's not. <laughs> no. It's well, yeah. about me. Yeah, trust me. I need a ring. Yeah. So where's my ring? Now, I don't want to cause a ruckus here. No, no, you're all right. It's coming. Um... I want to ask you about your family stuff. Obviously, this is an interracial marriage. How do your families feel about it? My family does not approve of interracial dating at all. Really? Yeah. So but he's such a nice guy. I know. So they won't be a part of the wedding at all. That makes me sad. Sad about it too, but I got to right. live my life. Are you close with your mother? I am close with my mother. And you just don't talk about it? We just, we don't talk now. I went to China because my mom wanted to do an arranged marriage. She wanted to do an arranged marriage? Mm -hmm. So how, what did you say to him when you so, were going to China? All the guys that I met in China, I would send them the picture and he would make fun of the, the people. Stop it, I love this. <laughs> yeah. How many people did you see? How many bachelors did you see? You're like the bachelorette 50. of China. It's, it was over 50. That's over 50? I see like three guys a day. You must have had some really big fights with your mother yes. after 50. It must be really hard for Linda that her family doesn't accept Curtis. He's really nice. He's sincere. He's such a great guy. What's like your dream location? What would be an ideal wedding for you? For me, anything in Brooklyn I would love. You have your dress? I have my dress. Good. Oh, you need flowers, you yep. need photography. Yes. You have transportation at the wedding? No. Nope, okay. Water. But you're ready to do this no matter what? Yes. You guys are ready. This commitment's happening. 100%. Okay. This couple really met each other. They fell in love. I see it. They have it. And I really want, I really want to give them like a New York wedding. Our next couple is Allison and Skip. He's a contractor and she's a probation officer. And they love their motorcycle. And they also have quite the background story. Really? Yeah. I was in a relationship with someone that I was married to for four years, and I was married to a woman. Hmm, married to a woman, but she's fallen in love with the man. Okay. I just wasn't happy in the relationship. They went to go to Home Depot to buy some paint supplies. As I was paying and I looked up, I saw the most handsome man I've ever seen, ever. I was kind of thinking, you know what, I think she's really kind of looking at me. Is it just me? And I kind of turned around and looked to see if there was somebody behind me. I was like, <laughs> She's looking at me like that, and then she and then she left. I turned the car around and I went back. I walked around the whole store until I spotted him. He was walking by, unstopped, and asked me if I needed help with anything. And I said I did. It was something to do with like heating or ductwork or something. I already remember because it was kind of baloney. I, I was just happy that she was back, you know, because I didn't get a chance to speak to her the first time. And then he said, is there anything else I can help you with? And I thought of something else, and so then that went on for about an hour. I just tried to uh, engage her in conversation and, and keep her there as long as I could. <laughs> <laughs> as long as we can make it last, it went on. After work that day, and probably every single day after that day, I was visiting him after work. <laughs> to the point where he got in trouble a whole lot at work. <laughs> he was walking around with a customer who was never buying anything all the time. Our dream is to do something in, in the city. Our dream is always to do something really different and something that no one else has done. There are Washington Square Park. I love that park. Mm -hmm. We both really like the outdoors, naturey kind of thing, and, and nice scenic places, fresh air type of setting, as opposed to like an indoor stuffy kind of place. We want what we want. We don't want to settle for anything. So, have you ever married a woman yeah. who was married to a woman and is now marrying a man? No, but it's New York. We're dream makers, right? Coming up on Marry Me in NYC. The reason we're here is to get a gorgeous ring because I want you to propose to her on your wedding day. I can't wait to meet with Allison and Skip to learn more about their backstory. The girls were telling me they're bikers. They got their bike, I got mine. 
Allison and Skip. Hey, Gino. what's happening, Gino? How are you? You made it. I did. Just park your hog right next to mine. You like my ride? That's awesome, man. All right, let me get the helmet off. Ah, <laughs> oh, I that swear. So this you have to keep with you. I bet you get better. Do I have to put too. money in the meter, you think? Um, I don't think so. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mr. and Mrs. Tan. <laughs> Okay, can I just tell you something? I loved your video. Oh, thanks. And you like, you guys like have such a story, but like, give me a recap on this thing. Well, which one of you were in a gay relationship? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just saying cool. it doesn't matter who you are or who you're with. The power of love and meeting somebody. Yeah, that's no, that's all it was. It was. It wasn't that I was looking for anybody. I was right. looking for a man or a woman. I think you guys are a gorgeous couple. You like, obviously have well. an amazing connection. We're, just, do. we're really down to earth people. You know, we're just at the point in our lives where we just want to enjoy. You know, know our time together and we like spending every minute that we can together. Every minute. Yeah. Allison and Skip are the nicest couple. I, I'm serious, like it's such a pleasure for me when I see a connection because all I have to do is build off of that. I want this couple to walk away and go, oh my God, we just had the most amazing time. This wedding was perfect. What we're would be like an ideal wedding time. for you? When we ride, it's, we're, it, it's all about going to places where the scenery is amazing. It's just too bad you don't have a sidecar because I could just hop in and marry you that way. That would be great. We could just be going that you way. Throw the bicycle behind the bike. Right? <laughs> we have rings and all that. We need she to get doesn't, She doesn't need anything to make her look beautiful, but I, I'd love to see her have some. He's saying that in the ceremony. He says it's it so every true. Day. I tell her every day. She's, every she's day. so beautiful. He does. You know what? She's more amazing. beautiful inside than she's outside. She's just an amazing person. I'm so lucky to, to have her. It's like a soulmate wedding. They're gushing all the time, and I'd known each other a while. I was about to go get them a key to the Motel 6 around the corner. I want her to have, you know, some nice flowers and have some beautiful pictures and okay. a beautiful dress and, right. you know, something what special. What kind of a dress do you see her in? Um, he always says sexy. Make sure it's sexy. Oh, this is really so great that the future groom has an idea. It's really cool like that. Yeah. I'm starting to get a good feel on who Allison and Skip are. They definitely want to be married outside, and I'm thinking something that could be iconic, fun, and sophisticated. The location will be different, but, you know, we're going to have tradition when we have the ceremony. <laughs> the meeting with Gina was definitely fun. It was exciting. You know, he uh, seems like an interesting guy. To see you getting married, having this New York moment, and then riding off into the sunset. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. You can really tell that he's, he's done it a lot before, and he knows what he's doing, so it put me at ease a lot to know that we're dealing with somebody who's got experience yeah. Helping out weddings like that. Yeah, we're really looking forward to doing uh, doing work with them. It sounds like it's gonna be a great day. Yeah. Hey. Hey, Gina. <laughs> How did it go? Oh my God, it went so well, and I showed up on my hog. <laughs> were they impressed? <laughs> totally. <laughs> but she's so pretty, and he's really attractive, and I feel like we need to come up with an equally attractive location for their wedding. You know, so I was thinking, what about Washington Square Park? I mean, they sent us pictures that's, from there. That's perfect. It I sounds perfect. absolutely perfect. So I'll get on Parks and Recs now. Good. Yeah. This was like almost too easy. Yay! Hello there. Hi, gorgeous. Hi, darling. <laughs> uh, mwah, mwah. Hi, Curtis. Curtis. Such a pleasure. I'm here today to meet Curtis because I have this great idea. Here's my pitch. I was thinking the reason we're here is to get a gorgeous ring to give to a gorgeous girl because I want you to propose to her on your wedding day. Listen, okay, okay. You handle that. Oh, you love that? Work. I'm a well, little confused. You're confused because yeah. she proposed to him a year ago, almost a year ago. Oh my God, I love and her. I know, isn't she <laughs> great? Yeah. This is yeah. a New York woman, my Absolutely. kind of girl. We do that, yeah, she might cry. Curtis's reaction to my idea about having him propose to his fiance on the wedding day was priceless. He really got excited. He's stoked to ask her to marry her on the wedding day. Any tips for his proposal? Well, I'm already mind blown over the fact that you're proposing during like, you know, the wedding. Okay, so I, I mean, what can I do to top that? She's gonna be speechless. She's gonna be speechless. She might cry. She actually might cry. I might see two tears come down. This it's, is a big thing, and I really want to—I want, I want it to happen for you. So. Thank you. I, Great. I want you guys. All right. Please, yeah. Please and we have me. some rings that I think are, are as unique, probably as the proposal is. Yeah. And you know, they're feminine. They have a little bit of an edge, but really very delicate. You know, so it doesn't overpower the center mm -hmm. stone, which is a black rose-cut diamond, okay. which is really special. It's pretty unique. Yeah. This is the one I've been looking at. Oh, 
There you like, go. As soon as you open it, it's going to be priceless. It's going to oh, be priceless. It's going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. Fabulous, fabulous so romance story. Yeah. So the other thing is, like, what, I mean, because, you know, I know her family's not really that involved. Mm -hmm. I know her mother's very traditional. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, her mother's an old-fashioned Chinese woman. And unfortunately, they're not really into the interracial. So she won't be at the wedding. Neither will her father. Change takes a long time with everything. It does, it but, does. You know, I'm thinking what we could kind of do is embrace it and kind of move it along. I think we should like go spend a day or meet in Chinatown one of these days and like take it in and do some fun yeah. things. Okay. Her mother will get wind of this and this could kind of like really, you're making steps to yeah. build. You don't want it to always be a separation, right? No, of course not. There's so much to learn. I want to soak up everything with him in Chinatown, get him really excited. And then I, I feel like he'll be more confident to approach his future family and be like, hey, this is who I am, but I love your culture too. Of course so what do you not. think about that if we, we kind of... We can go down there, get some dim sum, you know, get some <laughs> acupuncture, get some fruit, you know what I mean? We go down there and chill. Eat with we chopsticks? I'll try, I'll try. All that, okay. What, no chopsticks? That's the first thing her mother's going to look at. She's going to have you sit down at the table and hand you some chopsticks. I'll try, I'll try. I think chopsticks 101 is what you need. When I was watching Allison and Skip's casting tape, I kept seeing shots of the two of them in Washington Square Park, and I thought, this is the perfect place for this couple to be married. I'm going to pitch it to them as their wedding location. Why not get married here at Washington Square Park at the Arch? Well, what do you think? Do you like it? <laughs> yes? I mean, you sent me the picture of the two of you at the That's Arch, perfect. so I thought, this has to happen. That's just very well. That's awesome. What a That's great location. Great. It's perfect. We, were, we had the most beautiful day because we love it here so much. I didn't even think of it. I'm so excited. It's a people perfect. park. It's the beginning of Fifth Avenue. That's yes. perfect. Thank you so location. much. Oh, Allison and Skip are ecstatic over this location. They love it. I love it. We can really have fun with this. Uh -huh. We can really. The restoration they did here is just amazing. That's what we were talking about that day that we took the picture. Okay. You the did this. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to work on the parks department because that's my permit thing. However, we still got to get you the wedding dress. Okay. We've got to get you wedding bands. So wow. now at least we know you can tell your guests you're getting married at Washington Square Park oh, in New that? York City. Very cool. It's perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. Location's great. Oh my god, we Beautiful are so location. excited. It's perfect for us. Coming up on Marry Me in NYC. You guys, thank you so much for meeting me. I'm gonna give them the Brooklyn thing. That's all I told them. I got something planned. I'm not telling you. I'm gonna do a surprise wedding for them. I just want you to go with it. Five subway stops later and look where we are. Chinatown! You gotta love it. Movie. You gotta be feeling home right now. Exactly. I have got this day plan. I'm booking Linda as our tour guide. She's gonna immerse us in the Chinese culture, particularly her fiance, Curtis, so he can like now go into this family and know a few things. She's gonna give us a way of life tour. Her parents are still boycotting their wedding because Curtis isn't Chinese. I know sooner or later they'll get to know him and I want him to be prepared. I'm now, why are the Chinese, why are they big on fans? Why are they big on Fian Curtis? Oh, you should know this. I don't. It looks less. You know how when the females get arranged marriage, they put the, the fans in front of their faces? Of course. I didn't know that. So that's something you need to know. Why okay. is the color red important? Yes, why is it important? Why is it? It why means powerful. Me? It means luck. She was amazing. She knew everything. We would go like a step and she knew something else that was going on. Then we come across this chopstick store. Oh, this is great. We got to check this one out. This is perfect because this is the guy who doesn't know how to use chopsticks. Uh, uh, this is like chopsticks zero. land. Yeah. So how does Curtis hold these? Make sure the smaller side is always down if you're eating wise. Right, okay. The middle finger, right in between all of them. I'm going to try. I'm going. OK. Like that. OK. That's good. Let him try it. Come on, Curtis, you can do it. <laughs> you can do it. Remember, she's going to be so impressed. No. Okay. This one always stays still. This is the one that always moves. Come on, Curtis. You got it. You got it. Now press down. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, you're off to a good start. Got to start That's somewhere. Got to start somewhere. That is it. it. I'm impressed. I need practice. I'm not a pro yet. But you will be. Give me some time. Give me you some will time. be. Some time. I got the piece up, didn't I? That's good. You know, her mother may never come on board with this marriage, but the reality is Curtis is trying. He really loves her. And you know what? I got his back. All right, we're going to take three. I'm going with that lucky red. Exactly. Love these. Yeah! I had a fantastic, awesome day. Showing him how to do chopsticks. Today was the first time for everything. I think it was the best day. It was next, fun. The next thing is for you to do is learn Chinese. <laughs> I'm here looking at wedding dresses with Allison and Skip. Very rare. The groom wants to be part of the process. I'm all in because it kind of makes my job easier. I feel like they really, really want to do this together. I think the wedding dresses are over there. Hey! Allison, Skip! Hey! Hey, Gino, how are you? How are you both? Good, how are you doing? Okay, are you ready? We are going to wedding dress yeah, shopping. Really I love excited. the fact that you're exciting. here. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is so much part of the process. Help her pick out her dress. Yeah. How cool is that? How rare it. is that? Do you see any grooms here? No, I don't. You're the only one. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Being really pretty. Yeah, they were a little straighter. This um, one? Not quite as poofy, you know. Yeah. Are we talking mermaid straight? This one no. looks great. Now see, but that one goes straight across. Well, mermaid uh, without the fins, though. Right. No <laughs> <laughs> fish. You can't go anywhere. <laughs> That's it. One of the swim away. Fins too, exactly. That's what I meant. I think this one, we're gonna try on. You like this one? Yeah. It's long and tighter. This is great. <laughs> this one is a must try on. Yeah, that's definitely okay, a definite try on. Let's go put that one. Let's do it. So... Okay. I love the fact that Allison and Skip do everything together. It really speaks volumes about their relationship. I have an idea that'll really bring them together. I would love to do something really creative with the rings. Oh, really? I know somebody where you can actually go and make your own wedding bands. You could. No, like you could like do this. Be a part, yeah, of be a part, of part of the making of it. Oh, that'd be great. That's cool. What a, well, that's a very cool thing. Yeah. And I think this would be great for the both of you to do oh, together right. because it's yours. We're not going to a store and picking something out. Right. I feel like you're really setting the tone on this wedding. That's a great idea. Let me ask you, what was the scar that she has? There? She had uh, some uh, cancer that was uh, originally uh, you know, she just recently removed. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So but not, I mean... No, it was, it was cancerous, but it was something that was very self-contained. They were able to, okay. they were able to contain, that's why they took such a big area. You know, they cut like a, a huge area and they kind of pulled it together. So they took a piece out like that, but they got it all. So they, oh, they're very, they're very confident that they did. So yeah. That's great. Yeah, so good, that's, good, good. that so was, she uh, go back for this testing? was just a few months ago. So it's been kind of a crazy time for us. You know? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, very beautiful. Come on in. <laughs> Stand behind it's her and great. see. Great! Wow, I think it looks beautiful. Yeah. Do you like it? I, I yeah. do like it. Yeah, I think it looks beautiful. It wasn't beautiful. even what I was looking for. It's really nice. Okay. I like it. Wow. I like this color. What do you think? What do you think? I'm loving it. You're loving it? Yeah, yeah it's the and first one I put on, and I love it. It's form-fitting. Obviously, you have a rocking body. It's gorgeous. The tan is working. You could be my first part who just tries on one dress, and that's it. Oh my God, did we find the dress? We got the dress. Do they have an 11? And I don't mean the size. I mean, this is a 10 on you. <laughs> I'm so excited that I found the dress that I want. First one I tried on, and Gino you know, helped us pick it out. <laughs> I'm meeting with Linda and Curtis to see how it's going with Linda's family. Last I heard, they weren't coming to the wedding because Curtis is in Chinese. You guys, thank you so much for meeting me. I just want to no do problem. kind of a check-in. Any news on your mother? Any update for me? No update, same thing. She's not coming. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter please. Doesn't matter, we're ready. Two of us, we're ready. Curtis and Linda want to be married. Just the two of them, that's how it's gonna be. I love ready. her. I'm ready to get married. I don't care. I if love no you one's too. There, I love you too, Curtis. I ah, love you too, Linda. It's a love fest. They're ready to get married. They made it very clear to me. Gino, we are ready. I love her. Let's do it now. Here's what I want to do. So I'm going to pick you up. Okay. Because I want this wedding to be about you two and only you two. Okay. Okay. We're in agreement with that? Yes. That I works. got something planned. I'm not telling you. <laughs> I'm not. I just want you to trust. I just bit. want you to go with it. 
Gina knows it's all about just me and Curtis. I don't care who who's not there, who's there. It's, I love Curtis, right? We do. <laughs> <laughs> and I know he's gonna make it happen. I know what we talked about, which was like, you you know, you had the Brooklyn thing. Yes. And I'm gonna personally pick you up. Okay. We're gonna have iconic Brooklyn. I'm gonna do a surprise yeah. wedding for them. I'm gonna give them the Brooklyn thing. That's all I told them. Let I me know when to be surprised. I'm good. I can't wait. Coming up on Marry Me in NYC. You wanted something private. You okay. wanted something personal. Yes. You wanted intimacy in New York. Oh, <laughs> oh, what is this? Let's get some acupuncture. We'll relax. Ready? Mm -hmm. The needle is not too much pain, okay? Okay. Sorry, guys more afraid of pain than women. Eight needles. Don't talk to me about them. <laughs> yeah, I adjust it. Not only give you energy and also clear your mind, let you thinking more smart and memory good. Okay. I love acupuncture. I feel relaxed, refreshed, and aligned. I've got two couples who are totally in love and have completely unique stories. I propose to Curtis. I've never married a woman who used to be married to a woman, now marrying a man. Super interesting. I need a ring. Yeah. So what's my ring? I'm trying to get a ring on one finger. I want you to propose to her on your wedding day and had an idea to make some rings for the others. Sam, how are you? Good. Today I'm bringing Allison and Skip to a metalworking studio where they can make their own wedding bands together. So okay. we've got a couple pieces of metal that are a little bit bigger than yeah. what we need. Okay. And yeah. then we can take them down to size. It's a lot easier to take off the material. So this is palladium. It's an alloy. Wait, are you saying this is going to be his actual ring? That's a wedding ring. So we're making this it's actually we're gonna be using to make it. It's just not out. pretty yet. That's great. That's pretty cool. That is wow. pretty cool. First thing we're gonna do is heat up this metal. It's gonna make the metal soft. I thought they would appreciate the process of making the rings, especially Skip because he's a contractor. Plus, the rings will have added significance because they will have made them together. So we're going to bend them around. We need to get the ends to join. There it is. That's great. Skip mentioned Allison's cancer scare, and I really wanted to talk to her about it. He was telling me that about the your cancer scare. What was it? I didn't know this. It was a couple of months ago. We were. I had what I thought was like a little, like a pimple or something. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what it was. Right. I Show me your scar again. Wow. God. Yeah. I didn't know that Allison had had this major cancer scare. I mean, the scar was like huge. Yeah. It's, I didn't throw it. It's, it was, it was really, it's scary. Water on the outside. It is. He's the coolest guy on the planet. He is. is. He took care of you? We're best friends and yeah. every single okay. word. I never had a best friend like that. She got really emotional with me and how he's really her best friend and I felt that that just helps me as a planner to like know about them, their wedding. I get excited because I feel close to them. It's perfect to this around with this. Yep. It's great. Just polish them up. Yeah. You fixed it. I fixed it. Yeah. Finally time to surprise Linda and Curtis with my idea for their wedding. So I am personally picking them up and I've got their wedding bands from DeSimone Jewelers with me. Curtis! Gino! But first, Curtis's what surprise do you think? for Linda. I'm ready. You look fantastic, thank are you, you kidding you. me? You're looking good, I missed sir? the note, I should have gotten uh, matching. It's okay. all right, don't worry about it. Well, what do you think of your ride? I'm ready. Vintage yeah, yellow good. taxi, What's Mr. New York. How you feeling? All right, I'm ready. All right, you're ready. you're ready for your proposal. I'm ready. You're going to button that jacket, right? Yeah, yeah of course. OK, good. No, I'm just waiting. You just wait. Yeah, yeah. Do we need to beep the horn? Where is, where's your bride? I don't know. I've been waiting. I don't know. Put the word out there. Call Linda! <laughs> Beautiful. Linda. Hi, Gino. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> mm, I'm not going to be you two cannot kiss until I know. I marry you. So come on in. You look sure. absolutely beautiful. Come right in. Ah! You're good. You You're in. How did this ah. work? Driver, ah. they're getting married. Uh, you know that? 
much. I'm gonna make this moment all about Curtis and Linda. They're gonna get married together, intimate, just what they wanted, just the two of them. I can't wait. We're off to Linda and Curtis's wedding location, but first, Linda's gonna get a surprise because Curtis, he's gonna propose to her and finally, Linda's gonna get a ring. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Here's your bouquet. Thank you. Okay. Here we go. Okay. okay. Mr. and Mrs. Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> you know it. I see it right there. You wanted something private. You okay. wanted something personal. Yes. And you wanted intimacy, New York. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, what is this? Is this it? What is this? What is this? There you this? two are, it looks beautiful. Brooklyn Promenade is the most ideal spot for Curtis and Linda. It's one of the most breathtaking views of Manhattan and has the Brooklyn Bridge right there as their witness. Hi, girls. Hi. Hey. So, before we start the wedding, okay. Curtis, take it away. You've been asking about a ring, and you got a ring for me, and I never was able to get a ring for you. But now, due to my man Gino, I have a ring. So, will you marry me? Oh. <laughs> yes. She said yes. <laughs> she said yes. Have some champagne. Yeah. Okay. okay. Toast the flavor. Toast the flavor. Gino. You too. Thank New you. York. Spread love is the Brooklyn way. That's Spread love is the Brooklyn That's way. That's how we yes. going. Right that down. <laughs> it is. We have a beautiful backdrop for you. New York City, Statue of Liberty. You're in your hometown of Brooklyn. We're getting That's you married. What we wanted. That's what you wanted. Yes. Okay, well then let's take their glasses and Gino, surface. one more thing. What? This is cool, and I like, this is perfect, but I got a better idea. Coming up on Marry Me in NYC. Make it happen. Come on. This idea is it's insane. One. It's a good one. Have wedding, we'll travel. Will you marry me? Yes. She said yes. Thank heavens, Linda said yes to Curtis's proposal. But just when I thought I could marry them... One more thing. What? Curtis throws me a curveball. This is cool, and I like... This is perfect, but I got a better idea. A better idea than... Yes. Yes. What? We get back in the cab, and we get married on the Brooklyn Bridge. Okay, you were marrying a really interesting guy. Let me get this straight. You want us to get in the cab. Get back in the cab. Head to the Brooklyn Bridge. Right there. Right there. Go over it, and while we're going over it, we get married. Make it happen. Let's do it. Why not? OK, that's right. fine. One big happy family. We're all going to get in yes. the checker taxi now. Let's go. All right, let's break down this. <laughs> Have wedding, we'll travel. If you want to get married going across the Brooklyn Bridge, I'll do it just for you. We get married on the bridge. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I've never actually married a couple in a cab going over the Brooklyn Bridge. I've never been married in a taxi cab either. Well, that's yeah, good. it's <laughs> better be your first marriage too, <laughs> and your own marriage. <laughs> We're two streetlights away from I now pronounce you. Marriage to you both is an unconditional commitment for life. It's an affirmation that you, Linda, and you, Curtis, have now become a single entity, one in which the whole borough of Brooklyn can finally see. Curtis, you said that you admire Linda's love, thoughtfulness, enthusiasm, and sense of adventure, apparently. <laughs> Linda, you said that you admire Curtis' relaxed nature, kindness, humor, and generosity. You cannot imagine life without him. I can't. Can I ask you to join hands, please? Curtis, repeat after me. Linda, I choose you to be my wife. Linda, I choose you to be my wife. My partner in life, my one true love. I will trust you and respect you. I will trust you and respect you. Loving you faithfully. Loving you faithfully. Through good times and bad. Through good times and bad. Give me my hand. My heart and my, my heart. love. My love. 
from this day forward. From this day forward. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. You're exchanging rings today. Curtis, can you place Linda's ring on her hand and okay. repeat after me? Linda, I give you this ring. Linda, I give you this ring. To wear upon your hand. To wear upon your hand. As a symbol of our unity. As a symbol of our unity. Of love, respect, and trust. Love, respect, and trust. Here we are on the Brooklyn Bridge in New York City. It is therefore my great pleasure by the laws of the city of New York that I can proudly pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Ah, yes. We did it. Now that is a New York moment. We did it. So happy for you guys. We did it. He owned it, he did it. She loved him for it. It was, it was, the most unbelievable ceremony I've ever had. I actually cried in the cab getting married, going across the Brooklyn Bridge. I knew she would. I knew she would. Bye, Linda. Bye, Curtis. Congratulations. Take care. Bye. With one New York moment down, the next day it was time to move to the center of Greenwich Village. But first, I have to check in with my bride. Allison and family, who do we have here? We got the kids, Kilo and Minnie. <laughs> She's a little protective. She's a little protective? <laughs> I swear I'm gonna be nice. Would you like to go for a walk in Central Park? <laughs> what can I do to make you happy? She needs a walk. She needs a walk? Oh God, well you're looking great. Would you do me a favor and just give me just a few minutes with her? I yes. promise I'll give you time. I just wanted to kind of catch up. Okay. So I haven't seen you, everything looks great. Go you ahead. look gorgeous, so tell me, are you... We're excited, <laughs> we're excited, yeah. We're, we're not nervous, we're just really excited. We just can't wait to get there and get Do it. Do it? Get it, yeah, oh. we just, we're really excited. You know, yeah. I gotta tell you, I'm really stoked for you. And I mean, like, you were with somebody, you were with a woman for a while, yeah. right? And this is like a huge yeah. change. This is a huge change, this is a, Big moment for me because it's it's nothing that I ever expected that I was going to be doing. Having been married to a woman for a, a, a while and then having been out for a long time. I think I got married for all the wrong reasons before, which is what makes this one so special and so right. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me because he's the best thing that ever happened to me. I definitely get from you two when I met you, like you both are soulmates. You know it. You're. Yeah. This is going to be great. Yeah. I think that the reality is starting to set in now, so we're getting really excited. We are in the heart of Greenwich Village. I mean, can you get any more iconic than Fifth Avenue at Washington Square Park? No! The only problem is I can't seem to get all the guests and the bride and groom all together in the same place to start the ceremony. So it's time to send in the twins. So let's get them. Let's get, get the guests. Get the bride and groom. Get them set over here. Let's get the guests. Create an aisle, and we're good. Okay. Let's get okay. It. Let's go. All right. All right. If you could just follow me, and you do, you take Skip over there. Rich, Allison, come, come with me. Stand here. Good. How are you? Excited? You ready? I'm ready. Okay, I know you are. You ready? I'm ready. Yeah, exactly. Shoulder to shoulder. Sure. You have your, you have your vows. I do. We're gonna read them off. You ready? Are these guests as well? You, the guests, are you part right? of the guests? So if you could just find room on each side. Okay, welcome everyone. You're all here for Allison and Skip's wedding. Yay! Thank you, God. Just want to kind of create this so Allison has a little bit of intimacy to walk down past her family and friends before the wedding starts this handsome young man here. Thanks for coming, guys. Oh, she looks fantastic. Look how beautiful she looks. Welcome to everyone here for the wedding of Allison and Skip. Thank you for coming. Welcome you both here. We you support look you. Wow. <laughs> Can I ask you both to face each other, please? Ladies and gentlemen, Allison and Skip have prepared their own vows. So, are you ready Should to I enter into this marriage? I'm ready. Then I would love you to read your vows to Allison. Okay. Well, first, let me say how beautiful you look today. You dress is absolutely amazing. Allison, you and I have walked on our own paths through this life, two separate and very different paths. And yet we're so much alike. 
Along the way, we each have experienced what our chosen paths had to offer us. As we walked on, you said to me one day, and I quote, if you stay with me, you'll be happy. As your friend, your lover, and your partner. I want you to know that I'm very thankful, <laughs> I'm gonna try to cry, that you've come into my life and chosen to spend the rest of my life with me. And it's my wish that from this day forward that I can make you as happy as you've made me. Thank you so much for being you, and I love you so very much. <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> My skin. Somehow, from the moment I first saw you, I saw inside of you. I saw the most sincere, expressive, profound person behind those perfect eyes. <laughs> I admire you so much for who you are, and I promise you, in front of our friends and family, that I'm going to love you good until my last breath. So we're going to exchange rings. No, oh, perfect. <laughs> Allison, I give you this ring. Allison, I give you this ring. To wear upon your hand. To wear upon your hand. As a symbol of our unity. As a symbol of our unity. Love, respect, and trust. Love, respect, and trust. <laughs> this is the first couple I don't have to say now join hands now and forever. <laughs> oh, Dad, I know you are. <laughs> okay, this is it. Ready? <laughs> Allison and Skip, you've pledged your love and commitment to one another amongst all your family and friends here in New York City at Washington Square Park. It is therefore my great pleasure by the laws of the city of New York that I can pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Skip and Allison just had the wedding of their dreams. The weather was perfect. Washington Square Park was perfect. You know, it's a big release. Here we go. This is it. The ending of the wedding, releasing the butterflies in Washington Square Park. It was absolutely beautiful. Awesome ceremony. It's a great location, and we just were so excited. It was perfect. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling really in love right now, and I'm so happy that uh, we're here together today with our friends and family, and, and you look amazing. And uh, First day of the rest of our lives. It's the first day. Mm. On the next episode of Marry Me in NYC, New York City from above, wow. we're going to find you a wedding location. I can't even enjoy the spa because of all this that's going on. The bus that are bringing my relatives is broken down. They are very likely to miss the ceremony. Lightning's coming, the heavens opened up, and the police are now closing down the park. Unbelievable, we have like a minute left, I'm getting so nervous. <laughs>